very enjoyable. The big difference is that um, instead of staying in one class and having teachers come to you, you have to move around. It's, it's kind of hard to adapt at the start, but once, you, like after a week, you really get used to it. It's been fine. It's been like, there's been more work than last year, but that was kind of expected. I like how we have varieties of teachers and classes and the co-curriculars as well. You can experiment with what you like and then in the future grades you can like choose a few of your like fine art subjects and in grade six you get to um, you get to do all of them one per term and then you can choose. I completely agree. I like the idea of where you can have units. My favorite subject is PE because I really like be active and running around and trying out new sports. My favorite subject is science. I like the whole way where you can do experiments. I just like social studies because it's not just one answer. There, You can answer in many ways. My favorite subject is art easily mm -hmm. because you get to express yourself and there's so many different ways to do something. Probably social studies because I like learning about like the world and right now we're doing Culture Fest, so we get to study countries and it's just really fun. In the round square, that's really good too because we do a lot of projects on helping other places in the world that aren't definitely aren't in as good a condition as us. And it's really nice to be able to do that. In round square, not only are you taking action to help people all around the world, like you're also learning about their culture. Mm -hmm. So I think GMS Round Square is a really good idea. When I was younger, there was always the constant question of like, what are the teachers looking for? I mean, there were the obvious things, but there was, there was always like a personal connection, but all the like IB traits and all the connections to everything, it's really easy to figure out how you can do well. Like when we do work, we always have a guiding question and it's sort of something to go back to after you've done work and make sure you tie it all together. And the IV traits, like, if you think about them, they always, like, help you become a better person. It was really great because what they did is we got in, we got put in our classes, we got toured around the school, and we were set up with two grade eights for each grade six class. And they told us about what they felt when they were in grade six, and they told us, like, why and how that shouldn't matter because don't worry about it. The first time I came to GNS in the middle school, I was really nervous, but within like the first two hours or so, like everything warmed up because all the kids were so nice and our home form teacher, Miss Davidson, was like really funny and made everyone feel good. I was quite nervous for around two minutes. <laughs> then when I saw three of my friends, made five new friends, uh, that went nervous to excited. I'd been at the school for a while, so I felt pretty comfortable and confident. The big thing for me was that was I was really excited to, was to meet the new teachers and new students that were coming in that year. Grade sevens and eights were always there to say hi to you and like notice you. And recently, I did rugby. Um, that was all the way with the grade twelves, and I thought, oh my god, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna tackle me. But they were really nice, and they they knew like that I wasn't the same level as them and they were really friendly. And there's just that like anticipation of there's going to be something to look forward to every day. The teachers are going to make sure of that. It's kind of nice learning something new almost every day. It's kind of the perfect balance where you don't like, you have to work to do it, but it's not like it's impossible. Teachers have found like a fine line between really hard work and really easy. Like they find ways to incorporate hard things and make it easier for you so that you're getting the stuff done, but it doesn't seem as hard as it actually is. It's always a challenge, but like telling yourself that it's hard is not gonna help. Mm -hmm. So, and the teachers do a really good job to encourage you to know that like the challenge, you can succeed. Mm -hmm. Be calm on your first day. And always like try to follow the school motto, like do your best through truth and courage. I think that is a really good thing to look at every day. Always give your 100% effort because like no matter how much that is, teachers always respect and always know when you're like pushing your hardest. If you stay calm, 
nobody's mean, everybody's nice and understanding, they know that it's your first day, so you can be calm and, like, don't be lazy. You can be calm and everything will go fine. Really, once you get to the routine, it's actually quite an embracing school. They'll take you in quite easily. Ten years feels like a long time, but probably not that long, so by then, I'll probably still be like, planning my life out. I think I'm going to be trying to get a job and still playing soccer. My goal in life is to be in every continent and I see myself being an architect. I just like making my own things and designing everything. I might be working at my parents' bakery. Maybe I will try to ice some of the cookies. Finally, my dad will let me touch the icing bake.